This week we have been looking at Genesis chapter 3, and it's uh, all about sin. Yesterday we ended with the uh, last part of the curse to the serpent. We looked at the, the second part of that verse, uh, the first telling of the gospel. I've, I talk about this a lot. We call this, theologians call this the proto-evangelion, the proto, the first evangelism, first good news. And, um, and so at this point, uh, it, it is this statement that um, the offspring of woman, and it is referred to as the seed of woman, which is weird, weird, weird. Women don't have seed. The word in the Greek is translated spermatos. Obviously, that, that's, that's the male part of the equation. Uh, but um, it's, so it's weird from biology. It's also weird in a patriarchal culture to talk about the seed of woman. You would expect it to be the seed of man or the seeds. And the word is, is, uh, is in the singular. You would expect it to be the, the offspring of man, the plural offspring of man. But that's not what's being talked about. It's not being talked about all of, of humanity. What's being talked about is Jesus. So this is a very early reference to Jesus, who is going to bypass the seed of man, is going to bypass the, the, the corrupted uh, original sin bloodline, and is going to be conceived not by man, but by the Holy Spirit. And then uh, being perfect, God is going to, is going to inhabit uh, the, the merger and the dual nature of Jesus, the hypostatic union, the union of God and man in one person, one person in two natures. That's going to be Jesus. And, and one of the key things to notice here, and Spurgeon points this out in his commentary on the text. But one of the key things to notice here in, in Genesis 3.15 is that God gives the promise of sending a Savior before he issues a curse on the woman and on the man. Um, so I will put enmity, um, so that's hostility. I will put uh, you know division, disdain, hatred, uh, deep animosity. I'm going to put enmity uh, between uh, you and the woman. He's saying this to the serpent, so I'm going to drive a wedge between them. And, and so you can imagine, I mean, in the context of this account, this story, this origin story that we're being given here, that it looks like to evil, uh, that evil is winning. So we'll find it much later in the, in the scriptures, but that, that in the fall of the angel, the fall of Satan, uh, he's going to take a third of the angels with him, and now he's getting the first two um, humans, and it looks like he is, you know, gaining momentum. Um, and and God says, you know, no, actually, I'm going to put enmity between you and them. I'm going to dr dr drive a wedge between you and the woman and her offspring. So you're not going to like. She, she is not going to like you, and that's, uh, I mean, I think there's sort of a, for the most part, sort of a human antipathy towards snakes. I was running last week <laughs> on a trail, Sunday afternoon, out on a run, and uh, this, is, this, part of the, this part of the run is um, paved, a bike path, and uh, as I'm running down this this bike path, uh, I almost step on a snake, and, you know, I, I, I jumped. Uh, that's the, it's a garter snake. I mean, it's harmless. Used to have pet garter snakes. Our boys had pet garter snakes. I mean, you, you can sort of get past the aversion, but it comes back. I, I did not want to step on that snake. I didn't want anything to do with it. So you see that, you know, I'm going to put enmity between you and the woman, um, and so, we're going to see also then, and this will unfold as we get into chapters four and following, that there is going to be these two lines that are going to happen. We'll see this immediately with Cain and Abel. You sort of see, you know, Cain kills Abel, Abel not able to defend himself, uh, but you've got a, a positive bloodline and a very negative bloodline that is going to flow out of this. So, I mentioned Spurgeon before in, in his commentary on this. Spurgeon says of Genesis 3.15, it is to the oak tree, uh, it is to the gospel what an acorn is to the oak tree. It's all there. So you see an oak tree, it all comes out of a, an acorn, uh, and there's a sense in which the gospel is all going to be found, the origin story here, the, the essence of the gospel of God's provision 
of sending a savior, the seed of woman, is all here in Genesis 3.15. Have a good day.